Hello, 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 and welcome back to another episode of a sit-down with Sir Goldilot. Right now we're going to be checking out Scrap Garden. This game I know very little about. It was free on the Steam store. From the screenshots that I've seen, it looks like some type of 3D puzzle game. Let's get right into it. To one old and small robot. Serial number C4N. C4N. I see what they did there. About the renovation of outdated robots, and the cold nuclear fusion generator that was powering C4N had long. The joke is C4N like can, you know, like like a can. Put to sleep and woken up later with a new polished and shining body. He did fall asleep and saw a very strange dream. What do you see? Everything around him came to a halt. And started to get covered with rust and moss. And wanted to run away, but couldn't move. He wanted to scream, but he barely had enough energy to squeak. Uh-oh. Eventually, he woke up. What happened to the city of robots? Why did all the robots stop moving? It's probably because our Everyone stupid nuclear reactor team? blew off. Little Rusty Canny had to do all he could to find answers to these questions and try to fix it all. Well, all right. Let's get into it. Let's also... Oh, is this gonna reset everything? I just wanted to change my sensitivity down just a little bit. Probably that much is fine. It was extremely sensitive. Okay. Right. Nope, oh, that's not where I wanted to go. Are we... Okay, we don't have to rewatch everything. Um, yeah, this is pretty acceptable sensitivity. Anyway, new objective: return to the generator. So I guess we just gotta—it's a little collectathon. We gotta pick up all the little gems. Had I known this, maybe I should have um, put in a controller so that way I'm not using my keyboard. But that's fine for the time being. So yeah, I guess we just have to pick up all these little gems that conveniently led us right back to our power generator. And now we're all powered up, baby. Now we can jump. Um, let's go figure out what happened to this world, dude. Hello? Are you... Nope. Hold mouse one to pick up objects. Can I pick up you? Can't pick up you. Can I pick up you? I can pick up you. What am I doing? Oh, that's what I'm doing with you. Oh. I guess we found a new place. Hopefully there wasn't anything back there that I still needed to uh, interact with. Oh. We're looking at his pee pee. Oh my god. I kind of want to do that to this guy. Oh, I can do it. Oh, what? Alright, let me get all my gem skis out. Right, what am I doing with this guy? Where am I throwing him? Oh yeah, gem time. Um, what? What am I supposed to be doing? Can I make this jump? Do I have to use his body maybe to jump on top of? Oh, well, I was facing the wrong direction. I'm assuming I can pick up these boxes, maybe? I can. I wonder if you can actually soft lock yourself here by throwing all the props that you need, because I'm assuming I'm gonna have to jump, right? Maybe, oh, maybe one more block? Or is this, is this one doable? That last jump didn't seem doable, but it was. Can I just jump off this dude's head, or am I gonna need to actually bring a box up here? Please just let me use this dude's head. Ah, uh, looks like it's a no-go. Okay, I guess we're gonna do it with the box. And now we're gonna drop down to this plaza. More jump. Oh, oh, I just got a stupid boost off those. Wait, is this just like a trampoline? Oh, it probably is if you don't mess up. Oh, I think those are only meant to to be destroyed when you bounce on top of them, but since I like jumped right as I was about to mount it, it thought that I was jumping on top of it. That's why that happened in such a goofy way. 
Interesting. Oh, I killed them all. I've 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 <laughs> I've caused such a problem for this world of robots. I've like stopped all humanity with my nuclear battery. I've killed all these robots over here. Um, the real question though. Oh, there's a gem up there. Hold up, where do I have to go? Um, let me think for a second. Where do I have to go? Do I just have to keep on stacking all these boxes there? I mean, I guess so. There's more than enough boxes to work with here, so might as well. Um, let us just real quick. This is probably dramatically more smooth with an actual controller. Well, is this enough height? It's enough height to get the gem, but not to actually get out of here. How do I actually get out of here? Do I go over that wall? I'm trying to aim my camera more upwards. Um, just seems like there's more doors that way. Is there something back there that I missed? Um, doesn't seem like it. Oh, that's just made a whole mess now, hasn't it? Yeah, hindsight 2020, um, possibly a controller would have been better for a little more precision control. But we, we like to do things hard here on a sit down with Sir Cold Law. What can I. <sighs> Speaking of doing things hard. Come on. This is so weird because like it jolts it forward, even if you don't have forward momentum, it like chucks it. It's like, would you like to send it to the other side of the map? Okay, we got your back, and it's like, no, I just want to gently put it on top. Oh, please, character, turn, turn, turn. Oh. And uh, you can't even get up the stairs with this thing because like the box hits it and like it slows you. It makes you all Funko. Makes you all Funko pop. All right. Oh, there it is. Oh, really, bro? I thought that was it. Dude. Oh my gosh, dude. Brother. Brother, work with me. Oh, that should actually work. I don't, I don't think I need the elevation of the stairs. Okay, nice. Oh, but I don't think I'm actually going to be able to jump. Maybe I'll just grab these other boxes. There's still one more, right? Yeah, there's still one more. Unless, am I supposed to... Am I being stupid? Am I just supposed to be going up? Hold up a second. Even though I just made all this progress and I'm gonna end up stopping all this progress, I'm just gonna... Come on. Come on now. Yeah, I'm gonna see if this works any better. Oh, come on. Okay, is this just enough height? Uh, it all is enough height. Oh, yeah, no, this was where I was supposed to be going this whole time. Give me your gems. And give me your gems. Strength and unity. Oh, so these gems somehow power stuff. Okay, cool. And then work hard. Work hard. Play smart. That's what I was used to tell the fellow robot children. Uh, I'm assuming I need to take a box up here to do anything cool. <gasps> no! Oh. No, stop it. I just want to... It's so hard to, like, just... Wait, if I right-click, does it just place it? Uh, apparently running into a wall just placed... No! God dang it. No! Uh. I'm taking this one with me. I'm taking this one back up. Yeah, whenever you put something on, like, an elevation that's too high, it just drops it politely, but then otherwise it just decides to chuck it. Like, right there, I didn't even press mouse one. It just... It just said, fuck it. We're gonna chuck ya. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. That's not how the game wants me to do it. Oh, if I right-click, it just makes me jump. It doesn't place it. Oh, okay. Uh. Okay. <laughs> sure, sure thing, bud. Come on. No, I just want to I just want to jump up there with you so I can get my extra gems. I don't even think these gems are needed. But I really want them. God 
Dang it. Come on. Ah. God. Okay. No, you piece of... Mm, this is... This game has... I don't want to say the worst physics, but it just has a lot of problems, at least on mouse and keyboard, doing things that I want it to do. It just doesn't control the way that I always feel like it should. Nope. Like, the fact that the model that's in front of me that I'm holding interacts with the world is cool, but that means that I'm expecting my character not to pivot whenever I jump in midair. You know what I mean? I'm expecting just to be able to do my movement instead of having it all pivot. This was definitely built with a uh, controller play in mind. And then mouse keyboard afterwards, but we got it up. Now what I gotta do is just jump. Jump. What? Didn't I make this jump without? Okay. Either just press mouse one once and it just decided to just chuck itself. Even though I just did all that progress. <laughs> Dude, dude. Okay. We take those. Oh. Okay, you know what? Screw it. We're not getting the extra gems. I've spent so much, so much silly time just trying to get those little two gems up there. Unless, is that the actual path that we have to go? No, it looks like there's more of a path this way. Oh, hello, rat. Oh shit, it's a rat. There's two rats. And I just lost some of my gems and some of my health. How do I leave? Okay, this is how you leave. I don't, I, I don't want to mess with those rats any longer than I have to. Nope. And there we are. We just dropped down. More rats. More popcorn broskies. more things to knock over more streets to go down very interesting um oh ice cream stands probably not good for a robot to have ice cream it'd probably mess up all their circuit boards well there there's a lot of places to go here i've really lost a sense of oh is that a oh no the rat's killing me i just wanted to I picked up a wrench, I don't know what that does. I just wanted to look at the T-posing robot that's in their city center. <laughs> this is this is like their uh like that one statue in Rio of Jesus. <laughs> Except there's just this giant Lego handed looking robot. Presumably in front of the town hall. Okay, so if I collect sixty gems, I can open up whatever this is. There should be enough just around the city for me to pick up, I hope, because I really hope I don't have to go back and get those last two, because that would be quite the pain. So yeah, let's just look around the city, and let's real quick see what's uh, hidden behind that generator. Uh, there are some gems on that way, I'll pick up these two first. Oh, I was trying to avoid getting messed up by that rat. Still 15 more. Hopefully there's 15 more in this little cityscape and I'm not going to have to do any crazy puzzles. Especially any that require boxes. That would be, um... That would be quite difficult. Oh, boom boom. No oh, rat, please. Okay, 10 more, 10 more, 10 more. Um... Hello, robot children. Hello, robot gardener. Oh no, are there not going to be any more easy freebie gems? Am I going to have to try for the next few? I guess we haven't gone down this direction yet. Um. Oh, there's double jumping? Oh my gosh, how long has this been here? How long have I been able to double jump? Have I been able to double jump this whole time, or is that after I collected that wrench? I'm gonna assume it was after I collected that wrench and that I've not been an idiot this whole time. I know, we need two more gems, and we definitely saw those two more gems on top of the scaffolding. Oh, and there's a whole bunch over here. Okay, cool. We have enough. I'm not gonna go back to those scaffolding gems, because it seems like there's always enough gems provided to you to do the things that you need to do, to do the tasks that gotta be done. So now it's really easy to avoid these rats. Oh, is this a police officer? Boom. Consider the police destroyed. Anyway, let's deposit these 60 gems. 
Okay. It took more than 60 gems for me, because I'm pretty sure I had 61, but that's fine. We're in the town hall. Oh god. This is extremely spooky. It's gonna be like a side-scroller now with- oh, with like these like little lights? Wow, this is- okay, this is a very cool, uh, change of pace here. Oh my gosh, look at how dark it gets when I'm not- when the camera's like, facing this way. I can see it on my monitor pretty well, because I have my brightness set up well, but I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. But, oh man, this just took a really awesome turn. I'm gonna quit playing it right now, um, but this is definitely a game that I'd love to do another episode of a sit-down with your global lot for, because it seems like the type of levels are going to continue to change. So yeah, if this seems like something that you guys are interested in, please do let me know if you guys want to see a follow-up episode. I've yet to do follow-up episode on Sit Down with Sir Goldlot, but this would definitely be an interesting one to do a follow-up episode on. Until then, thank you for watching.